The IX5 News begins with a big time gambling bust. Businesses with a secret back room, a sophisticated operation hidden in plain sight. Good evening. I'm Elizabeth Cook. I'm Alan Martin. Inside heavily secured businesses and behind fake walls, San Jose police take down an illegal gambling ring with locations spread across the city. KPI X5's Kit Doe has been covering these stories for years for us, but Kit, this time, something different. Yeah, you know, this has become an annual event here in San Jose. Sometime in the spring or summer, pretty much uh, for the past couple of years, San Jose police announced a huge gambling bust, and this year is no different, except that it looks like the crooks are evolving, trying to stay one step ahead of police. From the outside, they look like typical strip mall businesses, a PC repair shop, a hair and nail salon. But look closely, and it doesn't add up. The salon is heavily fortified, and inside, there isn't a workstation to be found. Just a small waiting room with a door that leads to a more secure back room. And it's in back rooms just like this, where San Jose police, with help from the feds, seized 64 illegal gambling machines and about $350,000 in cash and arrested about a half dozen people. This is the state of illegal gambling in San Jose, more sophisticated and harder to catch than ever before. Gangs and organized crime groups are, are they like this type of business because it's extremely lucrative. After getting tips from the public, a judge issued search warrants for seven locations, including this PC repair shop on Cropley Avenue in East San Jose. Investigators say there was a false wall with fake computer merchandise that hit a full-blown gambling operation. The crooks also installed kill switches on the computers. What's more, they found several people who were gambling in a way they had never seen before. There was uh, an app that individuals were using on their phone so they had come into the business, put credits on the books, and then were gambling on their phones. It wasn't always this secretive. As recently as 2015, the gaming machines were out in the open at Vietnamese coffee shops all over the city. SJPD has been raiding illegal operations ever since then, netting dozens of machines and hundreds of thousands of dollars every year. Police say the gambling is a cancer on the community. The gamblers themselves often go broke and then steal or commit other crimes to fuel their habit, and gangs extort businesses and attack each other over turf wars. So when we take these these uh, enforcement actions, where there's a ripple effect to that, and it's a positive ripple effect, and it's good for the community, uh, and it's bad for the gangs, and that's what we want. And so SJPD described this as kind of like whack-a-mole. You take one out, another one or two pop up to take its place. They get the feeling like these crooks are taking advantage of San Jose's uh, low staffing levels, but with San Jose in a rebuilding phase now, they're hiring a lot more officers. They plan on staffing up their vice unit, so you can expect a lot more operations like this one in the coming months. And we're live in East San Jose, Kitto, KPIX5.